Welcome back guys, so I finally updated my POCO F5 from MIUI to Android 14 based HyperOS. This is its current version 1.0.5.0. It's the Indian variant of POCO F5. Android security patch update is for the month of December 2023. Yeah, this is a bit disappointing as we are already in March 2024. According to Xiaomi, HyperOS is faster, leaner and more efficient than MIUI. In this video, I'll be showcasing some AAA games running on POCO F5 with HyperOS. My experience with POCO F5 has been really very good. I purchased this device almost 10 months ago. Since then, I have recorded almost 95% of my YouTube videos using this device. Really impressed by its camera performance. Its camera even supports OIS. The device offers really very good value for money. Its processor, Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, is really very good when it comes to gaming. It's basically a downcloud version of Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The best part is, this device comes with 2 years of warranty. Yes, you heard it right. I have the 8GB RAM variant of POCO F5. On this device, memory management is the key highlight of HyperOS. I was playing Honkai Star Rail. Then I switched to YouTube application. Did not close the game. It was running in the background. After about 45 minutes, I switched back to Honkai Star Rail from the task manager. I was surprised to see. Game being resumed from the same point where I left off last time. Speaking from the perspective of a gamer, unfortunately, we still don't have MIUI floating FPS counter. We have to rely on MIUI frame rate monitor tool. This tool is not accurate in all of the games, especially games developed by Feral Studio. Due to this season, I often end up using KFMark FPS counter. That FPS counter stops working after about 2 to 3 minutes on MIUI. I have to restart it manually whenever this happens. This device has a gorgeous AMOLED display, supports up to 120Hz refresh rate. Scrolling through the interface is a very smooth experience. Security app has not changed much. Game speed turbo mode. I have never experienced ads on this device. You can see the resource monitor here. No floating FPS counter. And these are the settings that I use. Content recommendations disabled. Ensuring that no ads are displayed on our device. Performance mode, performance optimization enabled. Control and notification bars are split. You can access the former by swiping down from the top right corner like this. Edit the icons by tapping on edit. From here you can add the toggles that you want to see in the active panel. In order to access the notification bar, just swipe down from the top left corner. There you go. Supports Dolby Vision HDR10 up to 120Hz refresh rate. Wide one L1 certification is there. You'll be able to stream videos in full HD resolution on popular platforms like Hotstar, Netflix and Amazon Prime. This is the Antutu information for my device. Just wanted to show you the GPU version, OpenGL ES 3.2 version 0615.73. Now I'll be showing you some benchmark scores for POCO F5 with HyperOS. First we have Antutu version 10.2.1. Got a score of around 1 million, this is just amazing. This is the breakdown. CPU score was around 292,000 and GPU score was around 337,000. Then we have Geekband 6, benchmark scores. Got a single core score of around 976. Multi core score was around 3279. Version of Android, kernel version. 3D Mark Wildlife Test. Got an overall score of around 7311. Average FPS was around 43.78. Last but not least, we have CPU throttle test. I ran it for around 7 minutes. CPU throttle to 79% of its max performance. Average score was around 271,000 GIPS, which is actually quite good. Performance was mostly stable. First, it was around 90%, then it dropped down to around 80%. In this test, the performance should not be very variable. For example, sometimes it's around 90%, then it drops down to around 60%, then it jumps back to around 85%, and so on. Started Genshin Impact, enable me UI frame rate monitor tool to show the real time FPS count. RAM on tab shows the values of free use and total RAM, system temperature, in game settings. Android version of this game still does not support any gamepad. Graphic setting I'm using the medium preset. Set the FPS cap to 60. This should stress the processor. I'm in the fields of Windrise. Combat time. Here we are getting around 50 to 55 FPS. That guy is on an outpost. Switch to Amber. Use a range attack. Temperature is increasing. Around 40 degrees Celsius. Nothing extreme. 
in order to keep the temperatures in check just run the game using the low preset tapping the game that face to 30 will also help entirely up to you free ram around 1.6 gb looking for some more creatures and just cap their face to 45 now let's observe the stability found some creatures guarding a chest i'll engage in combat 43 to 45 fps use the elemental attacks there you go 42 to 45 fps in the medium preset i'll be testing the next game GT of ICT Definitive Edition. These are the game settings. Resolution set to 50%. All effects enabled. Game has started. This game's FPS is capped at 30. There's Tommy. I can observe the sluggishness. It's a bit difficult to see the FPS counter due to the white sky in the background. And now it's visible, 29 FPS. Oh no, absorb some starting there, 27 to 30 FPS. This game still runs very poorly on Android platform. Does not matter if you are using a mid-range or a high-end device. Stuttering will still be present. The game is poorly optimized. Start packing some people. <laughs> oh my god, they are retaliating. So, 27 to 30 FPS in this game. Now, I'll be testing the next one. Car X Street in game settings. Everything set to level 2. Smoke intensity set to medium. Ocean Blur enable FPS set to no limits. Uncap the FPS. Driving around the city, here we are getting a very variable FPS 36 to 42. I'll start a race. Event is nearby. Three other races in the race. FPS is around 30. Shadows are looking very greeny. Not impressed by the visuals, performance is also on the lower side, yeah FPS dropped down to around 27. Game is playable. I can observe some texture popping issue. Took the lead. Seven to 37 fps now i'll be testing the next game hitman blood money reprisal miui favorite monitor tool does not show an accurate fps count in this game that's why i'm using kf mark kf mark gets disabled after a few minutes on miui so i will be pausing the game and restarting it if that happens i'll be targeting 120 fps in this game frame rate limiter set to 120 optimization preset set to performance us preset set to medium yeah the game has started here we are getting around 85 fps this is amazing game is running very smoothly crowded area fps dropped down to around 60 still the game is running smoothly and just engage in combat start killing people oh my god i got noticed someone is filming me 
Okay, if Mark stopped working, let me restart it. Restarted the game, now FPS got capped at 60. Seems to be a bug, but game is still running very nicely. Now I'll be testing the next game. Alien Isolation. Even for this game, MIUI Frame Rate Monitor Tool does not show an accurate FPS count using KF Mark. Video Settings. Using the Graphics Graphics Preset. That's it. Start the game. Game started. With the Graphics Preset, FPS is capped at 30. MIUI Frame Rate Monitor Tool is not showing an accurate FPS count. We are stuck on a spaceship. A hostile alien will be stalking us throughout the game. It's a survival horror game. Graphics look stunning. Free VRAM, upon free RAM around 1.2 GB. Another spaceship. Lawrence. Passing back. Now that I should say flying back. Contact at Torrens, our current objective. Good to see this game working on Poco FL. For a long time it was incompatible with this device. Interact with the panel. PlayStation controller prompts. KF Mark FPS want to start working, now I'll be testing the next game. Great Auto Sport. Even in this game, your frame rate monitor tool does not show an accurate FPS count using KF Mark. Only two graphical presets are available, energy saver on and off. I'll use energy saver off, enables best graphics. Race is about to start, here we are getting around 30 FPS. I'm not hearing any audio, not sure what's going on. My device is not muted. 80% volume. Seems to be a bug here. 11 other races. Performance is very stable as expected. You can even tweak the game's configuration file in order to unlock the 60 FPS mode. Okay, KF Mark F is going to start working. Now I am running Call of Duty Mobile. We will be playing a Battle Royale match. Frame rate set to Ultra. Will be getting around 90 fps with the ultra frame rate setting graphic quality will be automatically set to low better settings start the match match is about to start you can see the map in the background the sequence is demanding i'll be jumping off the plane textures will get loaded up Let's jump. Here we are getting around 80 to 90 FPS. Game is running smoothly. Around 1.9 GB of RAM is free. Close to the surface. FPS stayed around 90. Okay, I'll get some weapons. Wow, game is running so smoothly. Smooth 90 FPS even during combat. Gunshots. Someone is nearby. And there he is. Speakers of this device are really very good. Stereo setup. And driving a truck. Why not? Going <laughs> down. Alerting everyone. Finally, I'm inside the circle. It's about to shrink. Oh my god, it's a rough terrain. Half of the match has been completed. You can see only 46 players are remaining. Temperatures are under control under 40 degrees celsius fps mostly stays around 90 in this game on poco f5 
सा सामान Here you go. I'll be testing the next game. Last but not least, we have the popular role-playing gacha game, Honka Star Hill. Features turn-based combat. Developed by me, Hoyo. Same developers work behind Genshin Impact. Just like Genshin Impact, even this game does not support any gamepad on Android platform. I'm using the low preset. Set FPS limit to 60. This game is even more demanding than Genshin. Yes, you heard it right. Okay, so my team is composed of four members. I'm playing as March seven. I'll switch to my own character Gigi. And there he is. This place is populated, demanding on the hardware. He'll be getting around sixty FPS. That's really good to see. Now to prevent your device from overheating, you can always cap the FPS at thirty. I'm just exploring the area, checking the game stability. We have around one point nine GB of free RAM. Okay, interact this person. Progressing through the story. I'll show you some combat now. This is the objective that I need to complete first. Interact with that person. You can switch characters on the fly. Playing as Tanang now. Temperature is around forty degrees Celsius. This guy seems to be depressed. Skip the dialogues. I'll start the battle by attacking this creature. Attacking first will give me an advantage. Few hiccups at the start of the battle. Performance should stabilize soon. Just spam the attacks. Fifty-four to sixty FPS. I have increased the game speed. This is the normal speed. Yeah, FPS mostly stays around sixty during combat. One down. And use Mars Seven's ult. AOE damage. Close the enemies. Team attack. Recover, beg your pardon. Recover from frozen state. Only one enemy remaining. He is still frozen. Here you go. Game runs very nice on this device. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.